How's it going? How's that big suit, Andrew? Uh, you know, it's it's a great feeling. Um, obviously, when you can make a play like that, um, you know, it can change the game, and uh, you know, it's a, it's exciting. And you know, I'm just glad I caught the ball, and the rest is history. Did you think you could have make it all the way to the end zone? Then you had a lot to do in the court. Yeah, uh, once I, you know, got out of that first tackle, you know, I started running. I saw uh, Harrison Smith had a huge block, and if he doesn't make that block, like, I don't think I score. And, um, you know, so shout out to him and shout out to all the guys behind that, um, you know, just blocked the skilled players so they couldn't catch me. That's two in, in five weeks now, I think. That's more than you managed to have you done anything different this year with the new team? Can you say that again? Yes, that's your second one now this season. Uh, you think you had one before in your previous five yeah. weeks Have you done anything different? Um, you know, I think, uh, you know, I had great coaches, um, you know, obviously Vic Fangio and then, you know, being back reuniting with Flores, um, these, these are two great coaches. They, um, scheme well, they prepare you well. And, um, in certain formations, different looks at the offense give you, um, they just, um, kind of not give you answers, but they allow you to anticipate and play fast. So, um, it's something that I, um, just read and, um, caught the ball. Were you supposed to drop or you just Yeah, yep, in, in that play. Um, you know, I was just kind of reading the guard and he came at me, so I dropped and tried to get into that pocket where, um, you know, basically where the hot throw is and, um, you know, something that we planned on and expected. Andrew, what's the key to kind of filling that space there, or <coughs> figuring out your drop to get into that hot area so you're right in the middle of the throwing lane? Um, you know, it's kind of reading the quarterback's eyes, kind of anticipate where the ex expect the ball where it should go. Um, you know, it's a different, a couple of different answers, and we show that all up look. And um, you know, it's kind of a thing, something that I anticipated, and um, dropped to the right spot. Can we be clear here, though, brother? I need a little bit more excitement. <laughs> you think of Aaron Rodgers? Yeah. You're going to be able to tell this story to your grandkids, right? Like it's almost like a defensive lineman. Sacking Peyton Manning, et cetera, et cetera. Like, think about that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Thank you. <laughs> it just I mean, I'm, I'm lost for words. Uh, it's just, yeah, I couldn't believe it happened. Um, you know, he, he told me, too, Christmas came early for me. And, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, just a guy of that caliber, that level, is, is I'm just thankful, grateful, and, um, you know, all the hard work and uh, just dedication that, you know, that flow puts in and then, you know, putting us in the right position to su succeed and um, the rest, you just got to make it come to life. Congratulations. Thank you. Andrew, the league you've kind of here for quite a while now. You had a long time to soak up that noise, that color. What, what did that feel like? Because it, it felt to me, and I've covered a lot of these games, that yeah. as good as it gets in my yeah, um, and I think, you know, it goes back to our, you know, the Vikings um, atmosphere at home. You know, we kind of got that sense here with the skull chant, and, um, you know, it's it's the best atmosphere. And when you can get a crowd like that going and get them hyped, it's um, exciting. And, uh, you know, we got fans all over the world, and, um, you know, I'm excited to be – I'm thankful to be a Viking because we got the best fans in the world. Andrew, how much do you enjoy playing for Coach Floyd? Uh, I love it. Um, you know, he holds us to a high standard, and um, he puts us in position to make plays and allows us to play fast, physical, and play at a high level. And, um, you know, just the way that he works, the way that he, um, you know, kind of leads the room and um, <clears throat> just gives us confidence to play fast and go out there and anticipate and make plays. And, you know, he keeps talking about this thing called joy and just love playing it. Uh, it's, we're ultimately playing a kid's game, and, um you know, if you're not enjoying this, um, you're not in the right um, sport or job. There are a lot of versatile defenders on the defense, Metellus, Smith, you. How, how do you flow in the rest of that defensive coaching staff prepare you to have so many different responsibilities? He does a great job of kind of teaching the big picture. So, um, you know, Metellus or I could be at different positions, but we're kind of doing the same thing. And, um, you know, he kind of teaches it in ways that, like, Defenders on the field are just kind of X's on the field. And um, you could be here, you could be over there, you could be in the D line, you could be, you know, inside backer. And um, at the end of the day, it's kind of spots and positions and zones and coverage where you're dropping to. Andrew, when did uh, Aaron tell you that about the Christmas game early before? Was it after the game or some period during the game? Uh, it, was, it was 
I, I don't. I think it was third or fourth quarter. Um, you know, I kind of got close to him, and he just made that comment to me. <laughs> so. uh, no, um, you know, I just told him thank you, and I, uh, <laughs> didn't say a whole lot. I kind of just walked away. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everyone. Yep, thank you, guys. Thank you.